Hello, I'm Ian. I am an accessibility specialist with a background in UX and design before that. And I am here to talk to you about two words, about difficulty and about accessibility. So if you spent much time in accessibility discourse on social media, or even just general gamer discourse, you've um, probably seen this crop up. People saying things like, this game was designed with a specific difficulty in mind. I'm fine with accessibility options, but not difficulty options. Accessibility and difficulty are different things, and I hate when people try to conflate them. So maybe some of these sound familiar to you. Um, if not, you should feel grateful. But anyway, that's what I'm here to talk about. Those two words, difficulty and accessibility. Um, are they conflated? Should they be? And what is the relationship between them? I'm going to start with one core truth. Difficulty doesn't exist in games. Games don't have difficulty. Um, that concept is not valid. What games actually have is barriers. And difficulty, on the other hand, is something that springs into existence when people play the game. It's something that players experience as a product of their personal capabilities versus the barriers that a game presents. This is why if you and I play the same game, one of us will find it easier than the other, because the level of difficulty experienced is relative to the person playing and humans are a pretty varied bunch. So that's a little bit about difficulty. What about accessibility? Well, first we need to look at what disability is. Uh, disability is one of the few things in life that there's actually global consensus on. It's defined as part of the UNCRPD, which is the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, which nearly every country on earth is signed up to. And that's based on the social model of disability, which states that disability and impairment are two different things. An impairment is something that somebody has an attribute and disability is a state rather than an attribute. And people are disabled by mismatched interactions between their impairment and some kind of barrier, resulting in difficulty performing a task. Accessibility means avoiding that mismatch. So difficulty is the product of capability versus barrier. Disability is the product of mismatched interaction between capability and barrier. And accessibility means avoiding unnecessary mismatch between capability and barrier. This means that all accessibility options affect difficulty. For example, if you remove colorblindness accessibility, what you're left with is a disabling barrier that makes the game more difficult for colorblind people. And the reverse is true as well. All difficulty options affect accessibility. They modify barriers and any barrier is going to be disabling for someone with some kind of impairment. So while difficulty and accessibility don't mean exactly the same thing, they are intimately related. There's no dividing line with accessibility over here and difficulty over there. Changing one changes the other. And balance is what it comes down to. Games can't be balanced. That's another concept that really isn't valid. They can be balanced to an individual, but they can't just be balanced in general for everyone. Most barriers are actually unnecessary and many are unintended. And some of these barriers can be avoided by default and that should always be the first port of call, but some can't because there's still that variance in needs and capabilities to account for. Humans cover a rich spectrum of variance. So being able to adjust barriers in line with that human variance means that players have some means of addressing the ways in which the game is uniquely unbalanced for them. And that's especially the case if a developer has a particular level of difficulty in mind, a particular level of challenge, because what's difficult for one person is easy for another and impossible for another. So options let more people have the kind of experience the developer intended. What 
really matters is the kind of experience that we want our players to have and whether any given barrier either enables or gets in the way of players having that intended experience. And a game's set of barriers is not the intended experience. It's just a means to an end. It's a framework that we design to try to engender an emotional experience. And accessibility exists to enable that vision, to improve that framework, to ensure as much of our target audience as possible actually have the kind of experience we imagine them having. Thanks. All this is possible thanks to our sponsors, Playtest Cloud, Player Research, Balsamic, Adobe, the book How to Be a Games User Researcher, UX is Fine, Antidote, and Sketch.